Good afternoon. We are here midway through the afternoon on Monday, the third day of General Council 43 in Oshawa, Ontario. Now today I am joined by Reverend Christopher White. Chris is in ministry with St. Mark's United Church in Scarborough, Ontario, and has been uh, very involved in a recent campaign, an open letter that was written to Premier Doug Ford, the Ontario Premier, um, from clergy across the province. Over 350 as of last count, as far north as uh, Thunder Bay and down to the Windsor area. It's been quite amazing the response we've gotten. That's just incredible. So Chris, can you tell me how did this initiative start? Where did the idea come from? What was the spark that led to this? Well, it was our, our call, my colleague and friend, Tricia Elliott, who came up with the idea. And then she invited a couple of us uh, into conversation about it, and it just grew from there. Mm. It's uh, a, a truly remarkable uh, grassroots initiative yeah. uh, that came out of uh, Premier Ford's invitation to the faith communities, where he said in March of 2017 that the church will have a voice all the time, I guarantee it. Uh, he said that at the Toronto Prayer Palace, and so we're taking him at his words, we're, we're the church. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, time to have a voice, and that's what we're doing. So what kind of calls are in the letter? The calls uh, of the letter are, first of all, congratulations for winning the election and forming government. Uh, and it's raising issues that we, are of cons that we see of concern, issues around sexual education, around affordable housing, issues of, of the poor and the marginalized not being, uh, ha having to bear the price of cutbacks, issues of making, the prosper making sure prosperity is, is, uh, is, is shared equally and broadly across the province, and wanting to engage the Premier and the government in in conversation um, about these issues because uh, when people in our society tend to hear about the Christian church they hear a particular voice and we are offering our voice our faith perspective which may be which is different than 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 that particular voice and we think that our voice is, is important in Ontario uh, the United Church uh, has about I think it's 85,000 or houses under pastoral care mm -hmm. and so and we represent every community in in the province and so I think it's really important that our voice be heard absolutely so there was quite immediately a strong response from clergy across Ontario um, and then it just continued to grow so people are continuing to add their names to this letter and you have um, You've been one of the media spokespeople for yes. for this grassroots project, this kind of nonpartisan um, campaign. What has the response outside of those clergy who are who are signing from the wider community? What's the response been? Uh, I think that the response has been that they're quite curious mm -hmm. about this. This is unexpected. Yeah. This is not what's what's happened before. And one of the things when I did a I did an interview on. Uh, on Ontario, uh, Ontario morning, was when she stated when the, the the person who interviewed me stated, well, this is a very different, this is a very different perspective than we've heard from the church, and I and she said, is that where you're doing it? And it was like, yes, this is a different voice, and I also think that. Um, you know, we have done this in a nonpartisan way and in a way of, uh, 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 the, this is the beginning of a process. We don't see this letter as something that we're sending out and saying, wow, well, that was great. We're done. Yeah. Um, instead, we are now going into the next stage of this process, which is encouraging those who have signed the letter to actually meet with their MPPs and feed that back um, into, into, our face, into our Facebook group and, and try now to figure out what the infrastructure is going to look like. And there was a group of clergy from York Region who reached out to Carolyn Mulrooney and said, and by the way, we'll bring cookies and squares, that's the United Church way. <laughs> and uh, so when I did that interview, I said, and we'll do it everywhere. Uh, we'll engage, we'll, 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 no matter where we are, we will bring cookies and squares. Because that's also about our hospitality and about how we want to begin and, and continue this conversation. And have you heard from any clergy yet who have, who have started to have those conversations, met in person with any of their elected officials? I uh, haven't heard yet. We're just now, I think, in the, in the yeah. beginning process of, of starting those conversations. And we're waiting to hear back um, from the government and from the Premier himself. And we're looking forward to hearing from, from him. 
Well, thank you to you for being part of this initiative. Thank you for speaking with us today and to the many who have signed on, are part of getting our voice out and, as you say, uh, sharing a bit of who we are as a United Church and what we believe in and hope for our province. So thank you so much, and uh, we'll continue to come to you with stories throughout the day, General Council. Have a great afternoon.